All right, welcome back, guys. Today I got another project I'm doing to my truck. Um, I've seen some videos of the 12 inch. This is, I, I just purchased uh, um, an RCI bed rack. Okay, as you can see in the background there, this is an 18 inch. Okay, uh, I've seen the ones that are 12 inches, but I haven't seen anybody put together an 18 inch one yet. So I decided I, I might as well do a video about it. So I've already got these um, put together. Now they're, they're not tightened up, they're just on there, just loosely. I uh, still have to put the uh, cross supports, the beams that go up on top. Uh, let me show you here. Oh, let me put on pause. I'll get the next section up on the table and show you how I'm putting it together. What I'm doing is I'm putting it on, the, on my workbench. I'm turning it upside down, getting the bolts in. And uh, because these bolts are, uh, I don't know what you call these hex bolts. So you get a close up there. But you see how they're slotted, they're, uh, they're square right there. So these goes into the slots and that's what holds it from turning. And just put the washer in, uh, up on top of the nut, hang it down. So uh, let me get these in, this next section, and I'll show you how I put that together. So let me put this on pause. All right, let me get you turned around. You see here, I've got it upside down on the table. And I've got the bolts already in there. So now all I need to do, and, and what and actually this actually helps, because it helps keep the bolts in place. Uh, like I said, they're slotted, and uh, they're not going to turn. So that gives me an opportunity to hand tighten these down once I get the the washers and the bolts on there and the nuts excuse me um, so yeah let me get let me get that hand tightened up and up on the truck and then we'll go from there down here let's set that up all right so stay tuned all right let me get you turned around all right you can see I've got the three uh, uh, supports mount mounted now they're loosely mounted in there um, you can see there is no side to side wiggle room okay on each one of these right now and uh, I've seen videos where these guys uh, they mount these uh, like on the floor uh, all in one piece then they go to lift it up and put it on the truck since I'm working by myself I decided to go like this uh, put these in the truck and then continue to mount the rest of the support brackets okay so uh, I got those on there. So now let's get the uh, the top supports go next. Now originally these these racks only come with one support that goes down in the middle, uh, and then the two uh, plates go right here on the side on each side, one on each side. Uh, I ordered an additional uh, support. So I'm gonna run two supports on the top. Okay, uh, just a, a little more sturdiness, you know. Uh, and if I ever wanted to mount a rooftop tent, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty Amazing secure. So, stay tuned. Let me get those braces on. Plus.com or download All right. the ESPN. So I got the top supports on. Let me turn you around and show you. you get up here on the truck. Okay. Now, originally, guys, this only comes with uh, with one support that's supposed to run right here in the middle. But I opted for a second one, like I said, because I wanted it to be a little bit more sturdy. I didn't know how sturdy it was going to be once I get it all mounted up. And it seems like it's going to be pretty sturdy. Right now, it's not completely bolted up, I mean, tightened up. Everything is still kind of like hand tightened. I'm just trying to get everything lined up. But yeah, and then another thing I noticed too is right here on the side, on these 45 bands, I'm wondering if these supports, when you order two of them, if they're supposed to go right here kind of threw me for a loop you know I'm not sure I'm not 100% sure for now I'm just gonna mount them on top like this that way the majority of the weight whatever weight I put on top is gonna be distributed a little bit more evenly if I if I go to mount these on the side here then I'm not gonna be able to put anything flush well I will be able to flush mount whatever up on top of this and it's still gonna be sturdy because everything's gonna be bolted together but uh, for now that's the plan Another thing too is what I was thinking that if I do put these over here on the side at a 45, I, with these slots right here, I should be able to mount something up on these corners here if I wanted to, like a like like you know um, the high lift jack or an axe or something like that. So 
because uh, right now the way I've got it, the way I'm, I've got it configured so far, I'm gonna run some roto packs, uh, a roto packs right here for fuel, another one right here for water, and then on the other side is where I'm gonna mount my jack and uh, some other accessories. So yeah, guys, uh, there's a side panel. Like I said, it's not completely bolted. I just put I just put these nuts in there to. To put it in there and I'm gonna get up there and bolt it together so and I still have yet to put in the clamps that go on the inside to hold this thing to the bed so that's where I'm at right now I hope you guys can hear me okay I'm, 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 I'm watching the game watching Durant on his back on his comeback he looks like he never left you handcrafted never hurt this is amazing a whole new way to adobo chicken. so uh a whole new stay way tuned block, i'll come back and when, I, when I'm, I'm, I'm i'm in my next step because it's only the next step is going to be the I'll, I'll these, it's I'll, a whole new way these to bolt it up and then we'll go to the clamping to the actual bed in their last game johnson all right so i've got it this far no, come on, uh the next thing is to uh, put these clamps on these are the ones that hold it to the bed let me get up in here real quick let me show you okay these are i still gotta try to figure out which way i'm gonna mount them if i'm gonna mount them like this right but then uh the the this right here is going to protrude a lot into into the inside of the bed so I think that I'm gonna go this way instead. And get it to get in there. Hopefully that's not gonna be a problem. Oh, it's gonna be a problem. There's that, oh, there's that plastic tab. Okay, so on the bottom of this uh, plastic right here, there's these little, it's about the size of my finger like that. It comes down like that. It's kind of like a clip. It, it goes right here and that's right in the way of where this is at now i don't have it you might be able to move it over just a little bit oh. sorry almost lost you guys there i had to uh that's not gonna work hold on here there we go and i'll stay up so, I'm going to go inside like that and uh, turn these down. Now, I should be able to get a wrench on it. I won't be able to get a socket, but I should be able to get a wrench. There we go. Let's turn it down. A little higher. I'm thinking this whole more thing is off. So, can you do more? Less. Less. Better tiny. So, that's the next phase. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of square it up exactly where I want it on the bed before I even bolt it together. Uh, and before I put these clamps on, so I, I don't have to move it around. So. Let me get back. I'll get situated. Alright. So, I finally got it finished up. I'm going on, let's see, it's 30 at 5, so it's 7.30, so it took me two and a half hours. Now, mind you, I'm working by myself, but I didn't, I didn't do it like some of the other guys, like I've said before. I've seen other guys where they put the rack together, they kind of measure the space in between the beds, and then, uh, they put it together on the floor and then they pick it up and they put it onto the bed and they make their fine adjustments and then they bolt it all up, tighten everything, tighten everything up. I, on the other hand, went the other way. I put the uh, these uh, uh, three uh, crossbars on the truck first and I, I hand tightened everything and then I went and I put the two uh, support that run on the top and I mounted these. I got these in there, and then I got the uh, bed rail clamps mounted in there, tightened up, and I got everything tightened up already. And you can see here, this thing is solid, dude. 
the holidays, man. I mean, once you get everything all tightened up, dude, this, this rack ain't going nowhere. Um, I was a little skeptical at first about the bed clamps because, uh, let me show you real quick. Um, so, I, like I, I showed you earlier, these, uh, these bed clamps, let me get inside. I'm having a little hard time going outside here. Oh shit, pulling on my ass again. So, these bed clamps, um, I decided to uh, turn the bolts on the inside because if you do it, uh, I'm assuming that's the way they go. Because if, if, you, if you flip this thing around, like I showed you earlier, it, this sticks out a lot farther. Now it would be easier to tighten down, definitely, but one thing about these clamps is uh, uh, when you're turning and you're tightening them, they have a tendency to, to if, if you're turning it this way, the, 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 the clamp wants, wants to, as you can see here, it's not level, because you just, <clears throat> see even if I tap on it like that, it moves a little bit. But you have to hold the clamp, and tighten it just enough because if you over tighten it the whole clamp will start to move on you and you have to start all over so um, but yeah guys uh, that's it like I said she's solid man and um, while I was working on this I got one of my roto packs in but uh, what I'm gonna do is this video is kind of long already I'm going on a, almost 12 minutes now and um, I'm gonna cut it off right here. What I'll do is I'll show another video later on where I show uh, where I'm mounting all my accessories and how I get everything all mounted. Okay, uh, let me close the tailgate here. But uh, let's get a look from this side a little bit farther, farther away here. Ah, but that's it, man. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Now, I went with the 18 inch rack versus the 12 inch rack. Uh, just imagine the 12 inch rack uh, would only sat up to about right here and I don't know if that would have gave me enough space to uh, to mount my accessories you know what I mean they probably would have sticking up above the rack and I didn't know how that was gonna look and another thing too is, is I have better access to my bed with the 18 inch rack as you can see there Another thing that, that I was concerned about was visibility. If you uh, use a 12 inch rack, okay, it's gonna be 12 inches, you're gonna block your rear view mirror, all right? And if you put a camper, I mean, uh, 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 yeah, a camper on top of your bed rack, you're definitely gonna obscure your, your, your uh, rear view mirror, okay? So that's why that was two of the main reasons I decided to go with the uh, 18 inch rack. I have better access underneath the bed and I'm not obstructing uh, visibility out the back. So um, stay tuned for the uh, accessories to be mounted on here. And uh, when I get everything that I that I order to get everything all mounted up, I got some of my stuff. Like I said, I got the rotor packs right here. I got some, um, excuse me, my shaker cup there, went to the gym. These is my mounts for the, okay, I'll do that later. I'll do that later. Because uh, the video is already going long. So that's it. Any questions or comments, feel free to let me know, guys. Thanks for watching. Tight lines. Peace out. Be safe.